What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna test out two different films, black PPF and just black vinyl wrap. So we're gonna test the durability and a little bit of install, not really much install, just because we're installing it just onto a flat surface to test durability. So we're gonna test which one's stronger and which one, you know, give, it, give you an idea of which one you should use for your situation or your project. Okay, so the two films we have here is this is a black paint protection film. I'm not gonna say the brand name because they just sent it to me to test it. And I mean, it looks good. It uh, seems to install pretty well, but yeah, it's got protective liner, which needs to be taken off. And then we have 3M's 2080 gloss black. Also has a protective film that needs to be taken off. So it's kind of cool. These are pr two pretty similar films, black PPF, black wrap you can see yeah this is the 2080 give you a little thickness comparison not actually that much difference in thickness which is surprising because usually ppf is way thicker right okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to install both of these side by side here like this um, and then we will go and do some testing okay we will start with the 2080 And this is obviously a dry application film. Now to note, the 3M2080 does have a decent amount of orange peel, as you can tell. Okay, and we're gonna turn over to the black PPF, which we have to do a wet app with, which is a water solution. Check the film off for this before because this is more of a plastic -y film and it doesn't work great to install with it. It's more so just for shipping purpose. Put some water behind here. You don't need to use a lot of water. Just Spray it on that, spray it down there. The nice thing about this is it's really easy to reposition, sometimes too easy. Okay, so here you can kind of, when I'm zoomed in like this, you can tell that texture that the 2080 has, even more so when I bring some light into there. And if you look on the aluminum composite, which I installed this on, that's totally smooth. So that is all the film. And if we come over here, it's not perfect, but it is way more glossy, way less, or less orange peel on this PPF. Very impressed with that actually. And it feels really good. It doesn't, doesn't feel like a film. Here you can see, look at that studio light. Look at all the orange peel. I've, I'm always a huge fan of, I'm a big fan of 3M just cause I like to install. But man, you, there's no comparing that. I mean, there is, but <laughs> it's a huge difference. Now I wanna compare durability. I know this one's gonna be more durable. Okay, so one of the first tests, I'm gonna grab a hard squeegee. These, one of these guys here. I'm just gonna scrape it with the back side. This will be like a minor scratch test, minor self healing test. Okay, so we've got some good scratches on there. And I'm, put, I'm putting good pressure on here. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the same corner of this guy. Oh, I hopped over there. Okay, so here you can see those scratches I made with this squeegee. So we're just gonna take the heat gun.
Okay, so a couple seconds of the heat gun. So most of them came out. Maybe we could get some more out, but not quite all of them. Okay, so then we're gonna move over to this area right here of the PPF. I would say those completely disappeared. Wow, I'm impressed. Now I wanna do a little bit more of a durability test. I went and got this old scraper that I had in my toolbox. And I'm going, I'm going right with this edge, as you can tell. We'll see how much of that will self-heal. Those are pretty deep. And this I'm pretty much just putting the pressure of my thumb on. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this. Same with what I did with the, on the PPF there. This will not heal. I can guarantee you that. Look how deep those are. I mean, it's not horrible. Some angles you can't really see it. And it's not, you can't feel it. Right. But when I say that that self healed, no. Now we're gonna come back over here. I mean, I think about half of that self-healed itself. So I'm, even that I'm very impressed with. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking so far. Next, well, I brought some sandpaper, but I also brought a grinding disc so we could do some more damage here. I'm, I'm pretty much straight now just testing Okay, so you're not self healing yourself out of a couple passes with some 80 grit sandpaper on the PPF. I mean, you didn't touch the other stuff either, but this for sure not. Oh, <laughs> for sure not on the 2080. PPF held out way better. I don't know guys, what do you think? What would you rather do? The PPF is more of a timely install, especially when you're doing like curves and corners and bends PPF, or it does take a lot more time and it's more tedious. This, you still need to be really good and it still takes time, but it's a dry application, so you don't need to worry about the water or as much lifting. So you definitely need to know more about what you're doing when you're installing with PPF and protection with the PPF because it is paint protection film. So it's thicker, it's better self-healing, it's meant to protect. This is meant to just color change or do designs or whatever you're wanting. Now I do wanna do some more tests just because. So we're gonna go, I think a little crazy with this. I wanna take to go through this stuff. How much would you have to sand? One, two, three, five. Okay, so I just did oh, sorry, 20 passes. Touch my heat gun. <laughs> okay, so that definitely ripped through. Now I did the same amount of passes here. 
As you can tell, this stuff is a lot more stretchy. That did not rip through there. Now, how many passes would it take to rip through there? So I have 20 there. Okay, so I've done 50 passes with the sandpaper. You're still not ripping it. I want to go till it rips. Okay, if I've counted correctly, that's 100 passes. Still not. You can tell it's taken a real good beating and we're getting down to like different layers of the film. But let's keep going. Okay, so that was 109, and now we're going through. There we go. So I scratched this surface right in this area 109 times with the 80 grit sandpaper before it ripped through. I think that one was 10, no, 20. Huge difference there. All right, well, that was fun. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and which one you would prefer. If you were doing the project yourself or if you would get someone else to install it. Would you go for normal black wrap film, which is, you could use Avery, you could use a 3M, you could use Vivid, you could use, there's hundreds of different kinds of films pretty much out there. There's all like name brand ones and there's all the knockoff stuff. And then there's also name brand paint protection film and knockoff paint protection. So I'm, I'm sure if this was even a name brand PPF, then it would do even better. I mean, it is a name brand, but it's not a popular name brand. Now maybe I'll do some other testing with some other paint protection film and other color film in the future with some bigger panels like wrap a whole panel or wrap a hood or something like that half a hood half a hood let me know if that's something you guys want to see and i would gladly do that and show you guys and maybe do some more in-depth testing but this was just fun and i want to test it out that's it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed this video or if you learned something in this video please give it a thumbs up smash the subscribe button try to help me get to 1,000 subscribers see you guys in the next one peace